everybody, and welcome to the Hobbits, the Hobbits, the Hobbits, the Hobbits, two eyes and guard, two eyes and guard them. <laughs> Smoan, George. Yes, I finally understand why. <laughs> um, patron voted movie, Moneyball. Yeah. Based on a true story. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Jonah Hill, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Oh, cool. If I'm looking at the cast, mm-hmm. Brad Pitt, Robin Wright, Jonah Hill, and Chris Pratt. Oh. That seems like the that's going to be like the good guys. <laughs> and Philip Seymour Hoffman's going to be the bad guy. It, interesting. It, okay. Just, just from like other things that we've seen them in. But he's not going to be right? like a villain in a baseball movie. Why not? It's I don't, don't know. Bad, you don't think there's bad guys in big business? <laughs> you don't think there's bad guys in baseball? <laughs> um, <laughs> I guess, yeah, I guess uh, like... It's called Moneyball, so that means there's right, got to be someone, someone that's like who's... greedy and evil. <laughs> Chris Pratt, I can definitely imagine as like an actual player. And if I were to put him next to Brad Pitt, I would imagine Brad Pitt as like some like retired player. I don't imagine Jonah Hill being casted as like a seasoned baseball player. Definitely not if he's anything like his character in Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> I would imagine he's like an accountant in this movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Right? I can see Jonah Hill as an accountant, but maybe that's just because of I'm thinking of super, uh, super bad. All right, before we press play, hi, you, yes, you, like, subscribe, click things. Oh, God, please do. It's unbelievable how much you don't know about the game you've been playing all your life. Hmm. Mickey Mantle. I bet Mickey Mantle's a baseball guy. Yes, that I know. <laughs> I've definitely heard of that name. October 15th, 2001. American League Division Series Elimination Game. Delivers with a one-scoring single here in the opening. Oh. oh. So that's like, Is that like whoever the, owns the... Valuation? the valuation? Yeah, yeah, like whoever owns the, the team has that much money to put toward investing in... Or is that the valuation of the team? Like oh. how much it's worth? Hmm. Oh, there's someone sitting there. <laughs> Not just someone. He doesn't seem okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Was he part of the losing team? Mm. Is it a coulda, woulda, shoulda thing? Oh. How are the guys doing? That's a killer. That's a killer. Ew, is that Bobby Kotick? Who's that? Oh, God. One of the few people that are destroying the gaming industry and more importantly, Blizzard. We're not going to do better next year. Billy. I need more money. We're not going to pay $17 million a year to play. <laughs> it's players. just Kotek playing himself. <laughs> uh. what, what are we doing here? We're a small market team and you're a small market GM. Figure out how to find replacements for the guys we lost. I'm sorry. I <sighs> hate Bobby Kotek so much. So they keep cutting back. Uh. <laughs> but everything he's just saying, it just sounds a lot like what he would say in real life, too. Mm. I got Johnny for 7.5. Austin just upped it to 7.75. Congratulations, asshole. You win. Yeah, and he's just dealing with agents, right? Yeah. Or managers, so they just go with money. That's it. There's no mm -hmm. preference of team or location. I like Geronimo. Hey, he's got a beautiful swing, right, Barry? If he's a good hitter, why doesn't he hit good? He is a good no. hitter. He's, got he's hit everywhere along the line. It's one of our guys. <laughs> what was he saying? He really dug that out of his mouth. <laughs> So the youngest one in the room is leading for some reason. Yeah. Mm. Who do you like? Well, he's the the GM. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Like, it seems like the what others are seeing him. Can't hit the curveball. My girlfriend. What's that mean? Jesus. My girlfriend means no confidence. What does that have to do with baseball? I agree with you. Guys, you're just talking like this is business as usual. You're not. You're not even looking at the problem. We all understand what the problem is. We've got to replace these guys with what we have existing. Mm. No, what's the problem? There are rich teams and there are poor teams. And there's us. Right. Oh, my God. Moneyball. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We got to think differently. Let us do the job of replacing Giambi. What the f*** are you talking about, man? <laughs> yeah, then stop looking for replacements. Who's Fabio? <laughs> <laughs> oh. The whole like we're older, therefore we know better is. Oh, I mean, I disagree with that. Yeah, I, I disagree too. Yeah. It's like I, I understand. Like, oh, okay. You're a premium player, Billy. You can run. It doesn't mm. come along very often. This is Mr. Tom Martin. They said it was 1979, right? 
Yeah. And mm. so this is young Billy. Oh, is Billy's Brad Pitt? You're yes. Oh, okay. They call him that. I, 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 yeah, I didn't, I didn't pick up on that. Mr. Bean? Mark is ready to see you now. Billy Bean. Funny name. <laughs> Peter Parker. Oh, good. <laughs> hey, how's it going? It's going all right. How have you been? Are you filling out that chair nicely? I'm thinking Ricardo Rincon. That's mm -hmm. not going to happen. We love him. We're not about to let him go. Oh, so this is another GM. Yeah. Costa. Uh -uh. Tell me about Garcia. He's healthy ish. I can give you Guthrie. How much cash? 200K. Was that right that Jonah Hill's an accountant? Because he <laughs> definitely looks like one. <laughs> Garcia's going to be in now. Huh. You're kidding me. I'm not. It's so weird that they're like trading baseball players, like trading cards. What else you thinking? What are we doing here, Mark? I just uh, is this business? So the guy the, the other GM was ready to talk and a yeah. one whisper from Jonah Hill to the guy in red and then to him yeah. that completely changed. Is he like a hidden genius or something? Cause he just back at a cubicle. Hmm. <laughs> what did you whisper? Hello. Who are you? <laughs> I'm special assistant to Mark Shapiro. So what do you do? <laughs> Whatever he tells me to do. Oh, yeah. It's my first job anywhere. Whose nephew are you? <laughs> Why does Mark listen to you? I don't think he does. He just did. He was more listening to Bruce than myself. Who are you? <laughs> what happened in that room? I told Bruce I like Garcia. Why? Oh, he's so cute. Maybe we just, because we just did Ted Lasso, but he just reminds me of Nate. Like, guy with good ideas and no one listens to and yeah. has no confidence. Yeah. I loved that so much. Like, just Jonah Hill getting, like, not reamed out, yeah. but, like, interrogated uh, with Brad Pitt. Yeah. An epidemic failure. People who run ball clubs, they, they think in terms of buying players. You need to buy runs. You're hmm. trying to replace Johnny Dave. That's home runs, George. <laughs> Sorry. Is he worth the seven and a half million? No. I think it's a good thing that you got Damon off of your payroll. What'd you study? Economics. Outside of box thinking. <laughs> You're funny, Pete. <laughs> You're funny? Is this gonna be my kind of movie? The, the competent people doing things competently? <laughs> <laughs> my version of your enemies to lovers. Oh, so good. <laughs> so into it. Tell me why, Billy. We're looking at a guy that's a potential superstar. We expect him to be our big league superstar. Wow. Field. I mean, it makes sense that, like, after you don't play baseball, you would be, like, a GM or something. Yeah, but but why just, is he a GM? How did he end up, yeah. In the t a small to like, uh, team. Not a big team. Yeah. Do. You can't do Stanford and professional baseball. That's crazy to ask an 18 year old to decide that kind of make yeah. that kind of decision. Whatever that decision is, you know it's fine with your mother and I. Oh. You look me up in your computer. Would you have drafted me in the first round? I imagine you would have passed and taken that scholarship. I just bought you from the Cleveland Indians. He has no say in it? Well, that's what I was saying earlier when they were like talking about like trading players. Well, the player players. part, I understand, because you have managers to, to handle that for you. And I guess that's the point, mm. right? Just help me chase the money. But he's just an employee. That seems yeah. different, yeah. But that's I guess weird. maybe not in baseball, yeah. <laughs> But even with like baseball players, it still seems like so weird to me that like it's not even mm. up to them where they go. Really? It's like Actually, yeah, I don't know. Viewers, if a player goes, No, I don't want to go to this other team despite the money's better, do they get a say in it? <laughs> or I mean, is there oh, some weird contract with like their Yeah, I guess it depends. It yeah. it must depend. Moving fast. Yeah. See these player evaluations. I asked you to do three. How many did you do? He did all of them. <laughs> Forty seven. Oh. Oh. Actually, 51. I don't know why I lied. Just <laughs> oh. I really like him. Yeah. Because I get that too. That like, oh, why did I make lie about that just now? <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> that happened to me. I did more me. work. <laughs> yeah. We need to win at least 99 games in order to make it to the postseason and allow no more than 645 runs. This is the code that I've written for our year-to-year -year projections. It's about getting things down to one number. We'll find value in players that nobody else can see. Okay. That's really cool. There's a championship team of 25 people. And this is Chad Bradford. His defect is that he throws funny. It costs $3 million a year. We can get him for 237000 <laughs> Okay. This is so interesting because usually like a whole game or whatever people passionate about, you reduce it down to a number is seen as the bad thing. Hmm. But this is the reverse. Yeah. It's the appreciation of the math behind it. And <laughs> I liked that shot of it's just Jonah Hill's character waiting for two 
pages to print out. <laughs> yeah. And then you stack them. So it's so great. That's hey, Philip Seymour Hoffman. He really is. Philip Seymour Baldwin. Philip Seymour Buzzcut. It's pretty much bald. And now there's an even younger guy in the room mm -hmm. bringing the average age down to like 60. <laughs> I want you to deal with a manager's contract and then put a team on the field. And a one-year contract means the same thing to a manager as it does to a player. The kid is the new assistant GM. Okay, I don't know how the business side of baseball works because he... Brad Pitt's the general manager, and he's a manager? Why are there so many managers? You can't deny his offensive output. He can play. <laughs> Who do you want to talk about first? None of those people. <laughs> Why are you keeping them? None of them. Jambi's on-base percentage was 477. Do you want me to speak? <laughs> oh! I'm not one of you yet. It is like... It really does. Nate, Nate, Nate is really like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Billy, you gotta carry the one. Right? Oh. <laughs> He's a defensive liability, and I question whether the bat speed's still there. He gets on base. <laughs> God, are all those guys gonna turn on, <laughs> on Jonah Hill? Yeah. Boston wants to cut him, and no one wants to pick him up. He's got non-repairable nerve damage in his elbow. He gets on base a lot. Rocco, do I care if it's a walk or a hit? You do not. <laughs> We are card counts at the blackjack tape. He answers to no one except ownership. We make suggestions, he makes decisions. That's a lot of angry faces. Billy. Yeah. I guess because we don't see all the days leading up to this moment. But Billy da is like really dismissive of everybody in the room, even from the first meeting, not just this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like there's like obviously so many meetings Hello, that we didn't Scott. see. Yeah. Where he was just super stressed. You want to let us in? Uh, pardon me? We're out front. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's a player, a player that's got financial problems. Uh, yeah, mm. yeah. How's the elbow, Scott? I can't throw the ball. We want you at first. We want you to play first base for the Oakland A's. I don't fully know the difference between all of those, so people will have to explain to me. You don't know how to play first base. It's not that hard, Scott. It's incredibly hard. <laughs> <laughs> You want me to take Giambi's spot at first base? Yeah. This is a contract to play ball for the Oakland A's. Let us know. Okay, so they do get a say. Hmm. Yeah, I guess in that meeting, it just sounded <clears throat> like they didn't. Like, they weren't yeah, there. Yeah, they didn't they, have any yeah. say in it, yeah. Man, like, to be an athlete and then you get injured and can't do the things. The like, one thing that you're, yeah. It's crazy, too, because, like, yeah, earlier we see young Billy and it's like, go to school, get education, or play baseball. Yeah. So if you get that injury, you literally cannot do anything else, really. Yeah. I guess, besides... Coach. It's good to see you. Oh. Thanks, Alan. You recognize that guy? Spike Jones. How is the team shaping up? I read you lost uh, GM Bonnie and Damon. You're going to be fine, though. You always figure something out. This is awkward. <laughs> yeah. So I just talked to her in her cell. She's coming up the hill. Big parenting decision. Her mother and I will discuss it. <laughs> It's so awkward. Oh man. Like no one's a bad guy in that situation, but it's still mm -hmm. so uncomfortable. It's pretty. I like the red. Look how it's red. It's beautiful. Let's try it. That's so cute. You know what else I, I really like and I'm noticing that we're following Billy. He's the main character, obviously, but mm -hmm. he's also like very condescending towards all the older guys in all the meetings, towards oh. his exes current husband i guess like oh, honey i think people would love to listen to you that's beautiful i'm just a little bit caught in the middle i can't figure it out it's bringing me down metaphor for what he's yeah. feeling yeah <laughs> oh my god you got that too like so did i <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. jesus okay did he get injured too much expectation maybe mm. i don't know he didn't pay once he becomes confident, that's when you've got something. But he just never got it. Mm. Many are called, fewer chosen. Oh. Billy, can we talk? While the old guys are quitting. Mm. <laughs> Ultimatums. Baseball isn't just numbers. They don't have our experience and they don't have our intuition. You got a scout here with 29 years of baseball experience. Adapt or die. 20 years ago, some scout got it wrong. Whoa. Oh. You can't look at a kid and predict his future any more than I can. It's still bullshit. Mm -hmm. Never gonna get another job when shot fires you. I'm not gonna fire you, Billy. Now I will. 
Interesting. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely like I think he did touch a raw nerve there. That it, a, a bit of well, this I is. Play a little t ball. When I was really new head scout. <laughs> Put a little t ball in his head <laughs> scout. Just you and me, Pete. We're all in. He looked like a clown out there. Who? It, uh, uh, Chad Brad. Okay, that's the picture that throws funny, right? Yes. I guess. Yeah. I don't know what uh, Billy Bean <laughs> management. We're counting on David to be the guy that he was. I like him. First base is the moon to him. We got six weeks. This better work. <laughs> <laughs> He's having doubts. <laughs> I never thought visors could look so good. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. When you put any clothing on an attractive man, it just looks good. We're going we're to show that it takes, it takes a team to, to win. I'm just really excited, like you said. Paying Jason a whole lot of money, and wow. you are coming here on a dime. Wow, f Jeez. you, lady. That's... Yeah, that's so inappropriate. A lot of work to get ready Excuse for me, can you please get out of my shot? I hate her so much. Oh my god. Yeah. Thank you for this opportunity. Oh. Well, we enjoy having you. Season opener of 2002 for the Oakland. Text me to play my play. What? Why? He doesn't watch his own team? <laughs> okay, I think this is the most American movie we've ever watched. <laughs> Do they do this at every? I mean, I know singing like the national anthem, but like the big yeah. the flag too. The flag thing, and the shredding guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I think the guitar is like you you get someone to sing the national anthem, or you get someone to like mm. play the national anthem. Hmm. This is gonna force him to be at the game to watch it. Huh. Whoa. I love data. And data loves you. So the first game's not gonna work because the, yeah, they're not using them correctly, I guess? It doesn't matter what moves I make if you don't play the team the way they're designed to be played. It would be really hard to change yeah, your ways, else. you know? Mm. Like if you're not used to thinking like well, that? Well, it's also hard to accept this because it's someone else stepping into your department, right? And like... Could this be about your contract? This is about you doing your job. Every time we talk, I'm reinvigorated by my love of the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I get Art's frustration. It's... Totally. There's nothing yeah. worse than a project manager telling a programmer what to do. They call it Moneyball. 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 Oh, there it is. <laughs> Bill James never played, never managed. I think that he bought a ticket on the Titanic. Oh, boy. I can't watch this shit. I would never have to cut a player unless you do it. This is stupid. <laughs> Part of the job, man. This is a very quiet movie. I know. Even I was at surprised. Their angry parts. It's so quiet. Yeah. Sometimes you have to make decisions that are best for the team. I'm sure you can understand that. My kid just started a new school. I shouldn't have. I'm not going to do this. Just be straight with him. Pete, I got to let you go. Would you rather get a bullet to the head or five to the chest and bleed to death? That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Is that his character growth to learn the heart as well? Mm. How come your boss doesn't travel with the team? Is that supposed to make us easier to cut? Yep. <laughs> and how come soda is a dollar in the clubhouse? He really likes to keep the money on the field. Where on the field is a dollar I'm paying for soda? It's, uh, people's salaries. <laughs> Hi, honey. I really like this kind of movie. It reminds me of like The Martian, where it's not exactly antagonist, it's just problems to solve. Yeah. Hey, don't forget to check out our Patreon for these exclusives, and our merch link is in the description box below. And now back to the movie. Can't blame Art Hall for what's going on. No. Billy, I think just started thinking. Start thinking about getting a new GM here. Yikes. Yeah. Enough people talking about how they should get rid of the yeah. GM. People start thinking they should get rid of the GM. One run four times. Oh God, him again. <laughs> Just look away, George. Pete and I here feel very strongly that we stay on the track we've chosen. And what's going to prevent you from accomplishing that? Nothing. Oh. 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 <laughs> Holy shit. The yes. one loud thing. <laughs> yeah. Stop. There's no way you're going to lose your job, right? Don't go on the internet. Watch TV or read newspapers. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm glad they, they put that into a joke. I don't talk to people. I just read stuff. Or talk to people. Honey, you don't have to worry. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. Justice DH and Penny on the bench. Had a burger first. He's just telling him what to do now. Oh, I heard enough of this conversation. Hattie. 
no big deal. I feel so bad for Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. Or, or just... The dugout is rookie sensation Carlos Peña. Oh, and he didn't listen. Yeah, of course not. It doesn't. Jeez. That look of the other team was like, yeah, we won, but it wasn't difficult to win, so it's not really a yeah. win. Like, oh my god. Uh oh. Is losing fun? No. What are you having fun for? Ooh. That's what losing sounds like. I get it, though. He's like, take it seriously. Yeah. You okay, Dad? Yikes. Hey, viewers, I also got a question. On the board and the background, there was like 605, 105. Why is it all 05 for game time? Place, We're all set. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Whenever we watch a movie that's like based on a true story. Yeah. I always think that, you know, obviously whatever they're going to do succeeded. Otherwise, there wouldn't be... Why are they celebrating it in a movie, right? Mm, but what right. if this is a movie that's just about the biggest disaster in baseball? I never even that never even occurred to me. Right? What if it's just like the I guess if we knew anything baseball? about yeah, if we knew anything about sports, maybe we would have known coming in. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and it's Billy. I need a little help on defense. What are you doing? Cleaning house. You can't trade Jeremy Giambi. It'll be fine, Ed. Penny's going too. I don't think you should do that. Oh. Oh, he's forcing Art's hand. You're upset. Okay. Yeah, like the the um, manager yeah, yeah, yeah. guy can't play them if they're not there. <laughs> don't make an emotional decision, Billy. I want to relieve her in cash. This is the kind of decision that gets you fired. I think he's already kind of made that decision at this <gasps> point. Do you believe in this thing or not? I do. Do you project we'll win more with Hatterberg or Payne at first? Hatterberg. Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah. Tony yeah. Hill has nothing to lose. He, this doesn't work out. He can just deal with fine. No, but I think he cares. And that's where yeah, his yeah, stakes yeah, are. Like, yeah. It's... yeah, I don't want my guys paying for soda. I want you to stock my machine for three years. Go tell Penny he's got a pack. <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. Hey. Is he eating a Twinkie? What about Giambi? You want me to tell him? <laughs> <laughs> he just shoved the whole thing in his face. That's how you yeah. keep them. Get Can't it over with. <laughs> Carlos, you've been traded to the Tigers. Wow, so he did it. He's expecting your call. Take care of everything. Mm -hmm. Just. Wait, he's gonna lunge at him. <laughs> okay. All right, you got a minute? Yeah. You can't start paying you first tonight. Oh my god. Yeah. He doesn't exist now. Yeah. I am starting him at first. Oh my god. He plays for Detroit now. You are outside your mind, Jeremy. Grab a oh, he's gonna fire him right there too. Oh my god. Oh. This is Ed Wade's number. He's a good guy. He's the GM. Oh my god. We wish you the best. So cold. The Jeremy's way that it's done. <laughs> Jeremy's <laughs> gone too. It really feels very doom and you gloom agree right now. With this. Go field some grounders. Yes, sir. <laughs> you may not no. look like a winning team, but you are one. Play like one tonight. Not quite the Aragorn speech. <laughs> No. <laughs> when you're getting your pitch, you're hitting 625. Every at bat's like a hand of okay. blackjack. Give them the data. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Is like, bring them yeah. in on it so they that understand down why. About 75 points. So he wants to walk more. Good question. Got a few thoughts. Yeah. Can you teach me some things. I know your routine, but it's for them. Oh, you're special. You're paying me seven million bucks. The Yankees are paying half your salary. Oh. Mm. Three and a half million dollars to play against them. Jesus. Wow. You want to stay in the show. You're smart. You get what we're trying to do here. Be a leader. Mm. We're cool. He's okay. like Roy Kent. Okay. A bit, and, yeah. And but Jamie is the guy that was dancing on the, the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. the thing. I do appreciate when they stick to the rules they establish for themselves. Like, cut the bullshit in this case. Mm-hmm. Get to the point. What's your biggest fear? A baseball being hit in my general direction? Well, hey, good luck with that. <laughs> Have some fun, relax. Everyone wants to attack. You get on base, we win. You don't, we lose. He's just doing everyone's job now. Yeah. No bunning whatsoever. That's all I know how to do. Us, <laughs> what's a fun, viewers? Tell me. I really don't know. I pay you to get on first, and I get thrown out in second. Okay. Music is hopeful. Yeah. Okay. What is happening in Oakland? The A's have won seven in a row. When you say your source, if it's not me or Peter, then they don't know what they're talking about. It's not what he wants to do, and now it's working. I hear seven in a row. You got Cleveland matchup. I like that a lot. They're talking mm -hmm. about how it's art. 
like the like Philip Seymour Hoffman. Mm-hmm. He's doing it. I, I like that a lot. That was really cool. He's like, I don't mm-hmm. care what they're saying. Uh, we, I just hear the just, seven winds. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so Artie's not even doing anything now. It's just yeah. him. And he's like involved now. Mm-hmm. Like he's. This is what he wants to do. Yeah. What he actually. He's watching now. Why is he always shoving food into his face? <laughs> I heard that's a thing for Brad Pitt. He's always eating I heard that scenes. too. <laughs> they are an AL best 17 and 4 this month. Suzanne, get your pyro on the floor. Trade oh, deadline. Are you referring to Rincon? It's half a million on his contract, and we've got at least one other suitor. San Francisco. San Francisco. <laughs> I'll call you back. What's left on Venefro's contract? 275. I don't really know what they're talking about, but it's still so fascinating. Yeah. What do you think of Venefro? I'm going to let you have him for almost enough. Throw in Anderson. Nobody likes him. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he's just stress eating. Yeah, maybe that's it. He's just stressing Mark, every you can't afford him, Billy. I hear you're looking for a left handed reliever. What's the angle? <laughs> yeah, everybody's just expecting. It's Eckerton. I like Eckerton. You don't even know who Eckerton is. <laughs> well, I'm getting Ren Cohn. It's a done deal. Wow. Think about it. But whoever calls me back first gets Venifro. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, why isn't anybody calling? Sounds like my single days. Yeah. Why isn't anyone calling? <laughs> okay, let me okay. talk to my owner. I'll call you back. Get Steve on the phone. Tell him I'm on the other line. These little games, little mind games. Yeah. $225,000 for Ricardo Rincon. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on one second, please. I love how well they know each other. Mm. When he sells him for more money next year, he's keeping the profit. Okay. <laughs> Good? Come on! Come on! <laughs> I don't want Rincon pitching against me tonight. Tell him to change his clothes and send him over. Since we picked up Rincon, we gotta send someone down. Oh. I know I've been struggling lately. Oh. oh. Traded? <gasps> Not traded, just out! Oh, that I'm sucks. sorry for the crap news. Ooh, yeah, don't let... And there's... Yeah, there's the guy yeah, that... You're... This must be a bit of a shock, I guess. I didn't know that, like, baseball season, you draft, and then you get to trade, There's a, and then you're done, I guess? Like, the, I don't know. It's interesting. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> wow. Look at all those ones. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so sorry. That's a good, that's a good one. <laughs> Thank you. I'm proud. <laughs> Learn from the best. <laughs> you can just see the pain in Art's face. Like I don't know. I don't even know what that was pain. I think that was like he was in it a little bit. Well, I think the pain. I mean, as in like he has to admit that it's working. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Eighteen. <laughs> The music is so good. Yeah. The music makes me care about baseball. <laughs> <laughs> and I still don't understand it, but uh, that's okay. 19. Uh oh. Is 20 where it falls? You did good, Billy. I'm really proud of you. Oh, Casey wants to talk to you. Hang on. There's no superstition there. You can't say good luck, kind of thing. Mm. Turn around. You're not going to jinx it. Oh. Oh. There's that superstition. Yeah. If he watches a game, he thinks that he'll jinx it? I guess? The A's scored six in the first, one in the second, and four in the third. <laughs> Change your plans, don't jinx it. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe he thinks they can't lose now, they're already ahead so much or something, so me- him going to the game won't jinx it? I, uh, I don't know. It would be weird for a movie that's about math to <laughs> end on a superstitious note. <laughs> <laughs> That is really funny. <laughs> yeah, Jonah Hill. We all look at Brad Pitt like that. <laughs> oh! Are we gonna end on a superstitious note? I don't know, man. I didn't like that. That makes me nervous. Oh! That's two things now that are... If it wasn't not... for the music cue, I really wouldn't have known that was good or bad. You have two people running to catch a ball that they could have just caught and then the guy would have been out, but... They mm. waited for each other and then it hit the ground. Oh, okay. But yeah, you're right. The music is now like... Yeah. Wow, he really is just... <laughs> because he went to see it? <gasps> oh. Oh, no. Shit. 
That's it then. You want to give up baseball to become a scout? Comes a time run. Oh! All because he went to the game. I mean, no, yeah, I know. I, oh, I know. It's definitely lead. Yeah. Okay. So much butt slapping. Why is that in baseball? I think it's just sports in general. You gotta touch some butts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about sports in general. I don't, I don't know. I feel like it'd be pretty hard to pad butts in hockey. <laughs> you gotta really wind up. <laughs> He's scared of the ball. Can you do it? I really like this character for Chris Pratt. Yeah. There's no like like shtick, if that makes any sense. Like he's very yeah. genuine. Oh, he could hear the good hit. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 20 and it's all on his hit. <laughs> that, I hope that fixed his fear. Like it's gotta. Mm, or at least help a little bit. <laughs> oh, and I guess this is the real footage. It's hard to tell because they go like. Mm hmm yeah, yeah, back yeah. and forth, yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of thing, it's fun for the fans. Doesn't mean anything. I've been in this game a long time. If we don't win the last game of the series, they'll dismiss us. If we win on our budget, we'll change the game. I want it to mean something. Whoa, I didn't think there was gonna be more. Like, that felt like it was gonna roll credits. Yeah. Earlier. Yeah. But I just realized there's still like another 15 minutes of the movie. <laughs> what? Bottom of the ninth. I've heard of that phrase. <laughs> I don't know what it means. Please explain, viewers. End, end of the game. <laughs> I see. I don't know. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Shit. You don't do that with a bunch of statistical gimmicks. Suddenly the 20 streak doesn't matter. Yeah, I kind of get it. I, I just wish there was like a happy medium. Like, yes, use the statistics and use like the other stuff too, but don't like just discredit one over the other. I don't know. I feel like someone died. Is it his career? George. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> We're gonna have some lunch in a little bit. So yeah. this is like, yeah, yeah, yeah okay, he's getting poached. Steve told me he's offering you a new contract. So why did you return my call? So he didn't get fired. Hmm. That's good. <laughs> why someone took so long to hire that guy is beyond me. Anybody who's not tearing their team down right now, they're dinosaurs. How much is he offering? Go here, so I don't have to see Bobby Kodak again. You're not gonna I tell us so. what it was? <laughs> it's probably a lot of money, it's a lot of zeros. Yeah. <laughs> what if it's just a drawing of a dick? Jonah Hill. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Heads up. <laughs> <laughs> that was very the nice guy. <laughs> oh my god. How's Boston? Mm. Impressive. That makes you the highest paid GM in history. <laughs> I mean, fine, whatever, whatever movie. We know it's crazy high. It's the highest. Yeah. Okay. You're not doing it for the money. You're doing it for what the money says. Uh oh. That they're worth it. Oh. I want to show you something. Jeremy Brown scared to run the second base. This is all of Jeremy's nightmares oh. coming to life. All went 60 feet over <gasps> the fence. Oh, it didn't matter. <gasps> That's so endearing. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'll I'll go all the way then. <laughs> How can you not be romantic about baseball? It's a metaphor. I know it's a metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, you're good egg. That's also a metaphor. Oh. Uh, hey, Dad, this is the song I told you I'd record. Oh! I this is such a sweet ending. In the moment, slow it down, make it stop. Wow. <laughs> oh. Billy Bean turned down oh. the red sock. 12. 12. <laughs> Holy shit. Billy's like, still trying to win the last game. So <laughs> dad. Oh my god, you're it's such a loser, you're dad. Such a loser, you're dad. Such a loser, dad. <laughs> oh, wow. 
I am that, baffled by this movie. That was such a unique ending. Like, I'm a little speechless. I just, like, I, it's mm-hmm. so... Mm-hmm. It's so heartfelt and so, like, human and, like, lovely and, like... Yeah. I guess, like, oh. especially at that ramp up of, like, the 20... Uh, the nine, the 17, 18, 19, you know, consecutive yeah. wins, and then they almost yeah. lost, and then they won. And when they won, I, I was expecting credits to roll because I was like, oh, it's a sports movie. It makes sense yeah, to that was end the big on the, thing. the triumphant yeah. win. Yeah. yeah. But they made it, no, made it, it just to kept 20. going. Yep. Yeah. Like, oh. And then, and then the end is not even about baseball, really. It's just him. No. Yeah. Yeah. What an amazing story. I, I'm still like, of you know, trying to think about the... Um, the fact that he didn't take it, is it a bit of the fear as well? Just like mm. the way to describe when he was younger, when he took the the offer only to find out that he doesn't have the confidence and believe in himself that he should be there. Is it I that? don't know. I is don't it think partly so. that? Or is it, is it also partly that more money means more people micromanaging you, even if you're the GM? Oh, that's not what I was thinking at all. I was thinking more like he's not taking it or... Because, like, one of the reasons, because he wants to be around for his daughter. True, yeah. The other reason is that, like, this is the first time that we saw him, like, get to know his players and be involved with them and, like, care right. about them. He cares about that that team, even if it is, like, a poor team that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure I'm sure that's a, that's a huge amount of reasons, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm trying to, because, like, because this is based on a real story, so I'm trying to mm. think of, like, IRL. <laughs> You know, yeah, 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 yeah. How I would appro- like a- an offer like that, right? Um, mm. And I guess we because I don't know if the movie addressed it. Maybe we, maybe I missed it or forgot. But we don't know how much he's making at Oakland. No, but we can assume that it's not very much. It's it, it's probably significantly smaller. E- but yeah, yeah, because like okay, so the offer from Red Sox was twelve point five million, right? Yeah. If the difference is between I don't know eight to 12 i mm-hmm. i would choose the smaller one just for the mm. fact that i probably get more control over what i'm doing because right the, the, you know what i mean whereas mm. like you know if the difference is between like a hundred thousand dollars and 12 million then it's and he chose but, to stay then that's yeah. out of love for interesting you know what i mean yeah yeah i think it's it could still be both ways it's still like mm-hmm be for the love of the, the team, team and where he is and, at and, yeah and the location yeah, and, and all the other know, personal stuff, reasons yeah. too yes yes all right well that's a wrap on this episode of cinebench thank you everyone for joining us yeah we'd like to thank our patrons and shout out yeah. to uh wyatt nuxo westa wenceslau 21 <laughs> walter wanton 84 tyler norwood uh, travis wilkins travis the pentatangerian uh <laughs> council of john spencer ramsey sir didimus and plexity shane driscoll shale a senex scott wasmer samuel black and runa smarason <laughs> thank you all very much <laughs> Woo, thanks everybody Bye. Bye.